Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Deb, turn around. Say hi, Kevin. at, Dad? Pom-pom aircraft, uh, anti-aircraft gun that uh, shoots 120 rounds per minute. Are you going to get up on the gun, Larry? Oh, oh. Kevin, what is it you're on? What are you doing, Kevin? Are you going to shoot the gun? I don't see no gun. Well, let's show the camera the gun. There's the gun. Look how long those are, Courtney. Better to shoot Larry with. Say hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. This Come is on. the SS Carolina. Hi, Aunt Francie. Hi, everyone. Guys, would you like to see a Coast Guard boat? It's really big. Look how big that is. Isn't that big? I miss you guys. Larry, this is one of the planes that was on the SS Carolina. They so used to use these planes in war, in World War II, to fight the Japanese. This, of course, is not one of the officers. This is Kevin, upside down. Being Kevin. And they used to take these planes, and they, this boat has been all the way around the world. And now they use it. What do they use it for? They use it to, um, there's a memorial. That's a good one. Okay, we're going to go downstairs now, okay, and I'll show you. Say hi, Daddy. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Larry. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Larry. Okay, Kevin, try to shoot those Japs. Hang on there. Come on, Kevin.
used by a British personnel. As for the other equipment you see here, you should easily recognize the wheel used to steer the ship. Directly in front of the wheel is the ship's master magnetic compass, and on each side of it are compass repeaters that are actuated by a master gyro located below decks. The chart room is immediately aft of this bridge and was the navigator's headquarters. In it, he maintained charts of the oceans of the world, all ready for instant use, where he continuously plotted the ship's course. It was the captain's responsibility needed a well-trained and able crew, Kevin? not just a crew of 2,000 men doing their jobs, but a crew whose efforts fused together to produce a precise response to any given situation. 